Hey guys, what's up? Roger Kick here again. Um, I just got through watching the Sony conference. I am a little bit behind over everybody else, day job and whatnot. Um, I was really, really quite surprised. I thought it was leaps and bounds better than the uh, Microsoft one. Again, Microsoft was okay. It was really lackluster. They didn't go into too much detail over what they were talking about in terms of the stuff that they did at the release event and the only thing that really caught my attention was Titanfall. Sony on the other hand a lot of things caught my attention. PS3 was pretty good um, Two Souls you're gonna have to give me that title I just know Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls I think that's the name of the game. The one with William Defoe and Ellen Page. I was interested because I love the producers for that. I have every game from. God, you know, I'm gonna have to say the name of the game. I have Heavy Rain, and the PS2 game, which a name eludes me right now. I'm really bad at this stuff at the, this time of night. I'm also working without a script, which is probably a bad idea since I'm new to this vlog thing. But we go on. Uh, we get a new PS3 bundle with Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm not a Grand Theft Auto fan, so I'm gonna pass that one up. Beyond Two Souls. I think it's called Beyond Two Souls. Anyways, Beyond Two Souls uh, looks interesting. It kind of reminds me of Metal Gear, but without instead of Snake, we get Ellen Page. I'm okay with that. Uh, the stuff about the music and movies was nice. It's nice to know that they're going to continue their media franchise and whatnot. Um, the video game aspect was really surprising. Big love to the indie people. I think that's going to go real well for them. Um, the Black Flag demo. That was live demoing with the actual console. So I was really happy they did that there. That's something we don't get to see too often anymore. At least not till they hit the, uh, the floors open up for all the journalists and whatnot and guests. <laughs> um... I don't know if that was a console malfunction where the game bugged out, or if the game is still in its early stages and the, it was the game itself, but uh, still props to them on the actual uh, playing the console right there. Love that. Uh, the Sorcerer tech demo thing, I initially thought that was like a sequel to Overlord. Did Overlord come out on PlayStation? Uh, probably not. Anyways, it was a nice tech demo. Thankfully, they didn't tease at Final Fantasy 7 like they did with the PS2 or PS3. Uh, I'm not a Final Fantasy 7 person either. I'll, I'll say that now. Let the hating begin. Leave comments about how I suck because I don't like Final Fantasy 7. I like Final Fantasy 8, even if it does have a bad ending and causes a perpetual time loop. Um, on Final Fantasy 7, I was not really surprised that Versus became 15. I actually said that at a get-together with my friends and myself, that development's been in the works for so long, they're probably just going to turn Versus into 15, and lo and behold, I was right. Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm pretty sure that was just Square saying, shut up, we're making it, please leave us alone. Here's proof. The demo they had was really not that good. Um, good camera though, if that means anything, but no, nah, that thing kind of sucked in terms of like demoing Kingdom Hearts 3, but I'm happy it's coming out. I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan. I just thought the demo was lackluster. Um, towards the end, that was kind of hilarious. Oh man, they were just giving body blow after body blow and the headshots to Microsoft. It wasn't even funny. Uh, I did notice that we will be have to be PlayStation Plus members uh, when PS4 comes out in order to do online thing. I don't know if that's entirely true. I wonder if there's going to be multiplayer online content available for non-Plus members and exclusive multiplayer content for PlayStation Plus. I don't really know. That wasn't really explained. But according to the little heads-up display they gave us, it looks like we will have to be PlayStation Plus members, which I'm totally okay with because it's five bucks. Five bucks versus 12 bucks. Always going to blame with five bucks. Um, order 1886. 
or the order 1886. That actually reminds me of something local in uh, Nashville. I'm in Nashville. I don't know if I'm from Nashville. I'm not from Nashville. Um, that actually looks like uh, the steampunk based uh, Ghostbusters known as Apparition Abolishers. Um, just from based off the weaponry and the style and look about it, I am interested in it. Uh, what really caught my eye is that they were doing this in Whitechapel. Lord knows the Whitechapel murders are some of the most gruesome and world-renowned uh, murders there are. If they can tie some of those uh, grisly murders into a game, that would be awesome. Personally, I would prefer that they redone Nightmare Creatures, because I think that game is long overdue for the re-entry. Um, let me think, what else was there? Destiny. Destiny kind of looks to me like a more straight sci-fi Borderlands. But uh, I am getting a PS4. I'll be more than happy to get a PS4. And I will be more than happy to play that game because I really, really liked it. I'm a big sci-fi nerd. Uh, not so much Trekkie, not so much a dad. I'm more of a Doctor Who kind of guy. But yeah, dad, I'm getting off topic. ADD. I love it. Makes for good uh, downtime when I'm transitioning thoughts. But there's a lot of thoughts to transition. Destiny. Good thing. I liked it. Back to the Square Enix thing, I did notice that uh, Kingdom Hearts 15 and, or, ugh, Final Fantasy 15 and Kingdom Hearts 3 are not console exclusive. That's not too surprising. Um, I kind of figured that was going to happen. Um, I was surprised that we are getting Tribe Club, I think that's the name of the game, as opposed to Ridge Racer. That's one of the very first times I have not seen a Ridge Racer as a launch title. And that's like a tradition for some. Um, I think, I wonder if Drive Club is taking the place of Ridge Racer, or Ridge Racer is currently on the floor at E3 now, and they just didn't do it at the conference. Um, hopefully we'll hear from one of the big name people like Angry Joe. I know he's there. He far angrier, better at this than me version of a joke. Um, price point. Good lord. Did they just continue to put the bullet in the head of Microsoft? $3.99. And I am making a correction for my last video. It's $4.99 for the Xbox One, not $5.99. Though might as well be because we are going to be having to do a monthly, I think it's $12 for their Xbox Live Gold now. So 12 into... 12, 144, 144 plus 499. So you're paying another, so it might as well be $600. Meanwhile, the PlayStation Plus is asking for $5 a month, so that's 60. So you're looking at a console around 450, which is still acceptable. Um, I, like I said, I plan on picking it up. I probably won't pick it up on launch. I'm one of those people that like to wait for the first couple versions to try and get some of the bugs out. But if the avail uh, option is made available to me, I'll totally hop on and get a c launch console. Because I remember getting a PlayStation 2 console, and that sucker actually died just a year ago. And that was a launch co launch console PS2. Um, I actually got one of the newer PS3s. I had to wait on that one because of the $600 price tag. I was really happy with Sony in the long run. Sony has this horrible way of screwing up their conferences in some way, shape, or form. That didn't happen this time. So obviously they sat there, they listened to us, they learned their lesson. Really happy. Not to mention that great How to Share or Use Games video that came out a little bit later. My god, I left, laughed my butt off at that. That was hilarious. It's like they are just sitting there kicking sand in Microsoft's face at this point. I mean, many of the people on the internet and a lot of my friends are saying the console war is already over. And um, I will have to agree, kind of. I know Microsoft still has a few tricks left in its bag. And certainly, there's. I'm not counting out the Xbox One. I'm certainly not going to buy it. Um, but I don't think that console's totally down and out because 
it's Microsoft. They got something up their sleeves, and Sony is a good, straightforward company, and they came out of the, this one, and they totally blew us away. Um, Nintendo, uh, we get new Smash Brothers, we get new Zelda, we get new Pokemon stuff. Uh, we get Mega Man in Smash Brothers. I'm not a Smash Brothers player. I like my fighting games like Street Fighter and the King of Fighters. More specifically, like the King of Fighters because I prefer fighting and story. Fighting and story that carries its continuity well. Um, Legend of Zelda, uh, Link to Worlds, be getting that. Uh, Pokemon XY is one of the reasons I'm holding off on getting the 3DS. I'm just going to wait for the bundle. Um, if they had a bundle with Phoenix Wright 5, I would totally be getting that instead. Unfortunately, Phoenix Wright 5 is only software, download, direct download content. Which makes me mad to no end because I really like having a physical copy of a game. I'm weird like that. Unless it's like really hard to find or it's one of the Japanese PSN downloads. Then I'm okay with that because, you know, what are you going to do? Except, you know, import and I'm poor and only have enough money to import one game a year. And it's usually the newest version of Kamen Rider Climax Heroes. Um... Speaking of which, it's still on my PSP since Christmas. Yeah, I play that game too much. Um, but no, Sony Conference, again, sorry I get off track easily. Sony Conference, great job. I really liked it. Um, those will be my main thoughts for E3 via Vlog. Um, more Vlogs will be coming down the road. Of course, we have Let's Build a Deck uh, this week. is We're switching back to FS. It's going to be Yori Yagami. Then the following week, we'll be switching over to Card Fight Vanguard. It'll be the Zeal Ride Chain for Dimension Police. And I'm actually thinking about doing my, uh, what was the podcast of Total Justice Gaming as a vlog. Just because I find this easier and I don't have to pay for a server because YouTube is awesome. Um, so once again, uh, it's Total Justice Gaming. Uh, link to my site is down in the comments. Appreciate sure if you guys come take a look. I'm also on Facebook. Uh, just type in Total Justice Gaming on there. I could use the likes. Makes me feel better about myself. Low self esteem. No, I actually don't have low self esteem. But do go like the Facebook page. It lets me know that I have an audience. I would like to keep doing this and keep doing it for the people that are interested in listening to me. What few there are. Hopefully that few will grow. So, good night, everybody, and take care. See you on the next Total Justice Gaming or the next Let's Build a Deck.